When the Arab Spring came to Damascus, the protests were peaceful and defiant. The demands were clear. People wanted to topple the regime. The Assad family has ruled the country for 40 years. But nine months later, the revolution seems to be in limbo. The government's brutal crackdown has not ended the demonstrations, nor has the uprising toppled the regime. The confrontation has exposed and even deepened the ethnic and religious cracks in Syrian society. Today, we'll speak with a group of Syrians to discuss the future of their country. But we're not in Syria, we are in neighboring Lebanon. Because the Syrian government won't give journalists free access to the country. And some opponents of the regime are too afraid to go back home. I'm Rula Amin, welcome to Beirut, welcome to the cafe. Joining us in the cafe today, Mu'ad Asibai, a member of the Syrian National Council, an umbrella group of opposition parties. He's originally from the city of Homs, but hasn't been to Syria since 1977. Emma Sleiman also lives abroad, a marketing professional active in the opposition. She has produced a couple of documentaries on the Syrian uprising. Waddah Al Khatib, a professor of English literature at Damascus University. He used to teach in the United States, but returned to Syria 10 years ago. Lulwal Atasi, a Syrian-Canadian businesswoman who left Montreal six years ago to live and work in Damascus. Fadi Salem, a native of Aleppo, who lives and works in Dubai as a social media strategist. Skeptical of media reports on Syria, he recently went on a road trip throughout the country to decide for himself. Haidar Kazwini studied English in Damascus University and has worked a series of odd jobs since graduation. He's had difficulty finding regular work since the uprising began. And Ala Ibrahim, a freelance journalist based in Damascus who frequently works for Syrian TV. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me in the cafe. I want to start with Mohan. Where does the Syrian revolution stand at this point? The Syrian revolution is, uh, is, is basically standing where it's winning the majority of support from inside Syria Again, and it's winning sorry, the support sorry, of the international the community. Not be thrown around you so think it's winning? I'm sorry. It is Mahaz, winning. Rula? It's winning and it's you the hope of the, the people. Majority, the hope of the Syrian people. What's your people. objection to the word majority? Majority is a very strong word that shouldn't be said like this. We can't say that this faction or this party is winning majority of the people. We can't say it. We don't have ballots anymore uh, right now. And Rula, and listen. He, believes. And Rula okay. listen. he believes this, I agree, if, and, and if he has the right the to believe it. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Just let me continue. I, I, you have a, the right to believe whatever you want. You have the right to, say, to, to believe that uh, you're the best looking person on, on, on the face of earth, but this does not make it true. And when we say it on air, it might so send, the wrong, saying, it might send the wrong message to people. Ale, are this you is saying my the objection. majority of the people are not supporting the revolution? Yes, I'm saying the majority of the people are not supporting Whom the revolt supporting? that are taking place on the ground. Fine. Uh, if we look geographically at Syria and at the, hot, the number of hot zones, right? And how many... Define hot zones. I'm interested. Yeah, what, what, what do you mean by hot zones? Uh, you know, all the all the, the, the hot zones where the, the army is at the moment. And, you, you know, you the, the, the war zone is? where no, protests no, no, I'm sorry. Where yeah, the, the army, army is. Why, why, the the army? Why, why is the army surrounding this You know, the uh, army area? is deployed in Syria because it's the Syrian Arab uh, Republic and the, the army is deployed in its territory. Since but when? you say hot Since spots. When? Why do we have tanks 19, all over? In 1992, Why are the tanks? In 1992 in LA, there yeah. were riots after a trial. Yeah. 5,400 U.S. Marines occupied LA. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Armies, national armies, go to areas of unrest when yeah. there is unrest. But I want to come back to the issue of the majority. I want to come back. I want to come back. I want to. I want to come back. What it is? And actually, it's as well. I want to come back to the issue of the majority. I want to come back to the issue of the majority, please, because one criticism that maybe somebody would argue, I mean logically, that it is a valid, you know, criticism of the opposition is that the Syrian government claims that it represents the majority of the people. But now, you know, the opposition comes with the same claim. The so why not becomes, have fair elections in Syria? Exactly, exactly. The, the issue then becomes, 
an issue that we need to take to the ballot box. And in order to take to a ballot box, we need to sit down and talk. Exactly. About this. And well, we can send do you have a problem with going we to the ballot box? We, we this is what we wanted. We don't have a problem with that. Actually, we're very happy to sort of start a dialogue with the regime to transfer power. It's a government. And that it's not transfer, a regime, sir. That's transferring if, the power to, to a transitional a government to if do an election a within regime, a year. Then, then want... you should not object. Listen, listen. Look, there is this, no this... government that represents people that points its guns to people. Exactly. To Natural. their own unless, people. Unless, unless so unless the government has lost. And guess what? That you government, said. that your Syrian president, government, your president has said the lost, other day lost legitimacy. That There's only, no legitimacy for that government only anymore. Only a crazy, only if you a crazy attack your own person, people, if you murder your own people, you are not a government that represents people. That's the reality. 10,000 people, innocent people are being killed. We're coming back. We're coming back. The same issue. Soldiers were killed. We're coming back to the same issue. First of because all, they refused. Respect, no, 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 no. Because they refused true. to take my orders own to kill the people. Kill. My and own then, cousin was killed. Yeah, he's a strong supporter of the government. He's a strong supporter of the government. He was a lieutenant in the army and he was killed. He was sent to our village. You know how we, how he was sent to our village? You know how he was sent to our village? His head, he was decapitated. He was decapitated. He was decapitated. He was decapitated. When was he killed? He was in Tulsa. He was killed in Tulsa. Listen, those fires. I don't know why. By insurgents. By people coming from Libya. By people coming from Iraq. When the CIA issues a report in April, that is, and says there's a large movement and Al Qaeda militants moving from Iraq into Syria, and we deny this and we ignore it, and we, we as people who represent the so-called revolution we say okay there's no armed groups on the ground let's and we want to destroy the government i'm sorry just let me continue Fine. let's just let me continue this Fine. is an emotional topic for me when we refuse to acknowledge the existence of armed groups on the ground killing innocent lives in the process of that we we don't harm the regime the so-called regime we don't harm the government we harm our own people we keep you know and the other day that... 200 dead bodies we, have, we witnessed sectarian violence in a city like Homs, we will a come. very peaceful city usually. We will come to Homs and the sectarian killings in Homs. Allow, I'm asking you one question. you allow insurgency to allow the country, to but enter the country, and you don't denounce it, and you accept Who it. Who allowed the so, insurgency? No, I want to ask you a question. SNC, because it's sponsored by Turkey, Turkey which is sponsoring insurgency in Syria, and protecting insurgents, allowing them access, allowing them food, supply, and weapons. Yeah, yes, so they are the people true, who enter the country. And the 800,000 people, who, he, who did the demo in Hama, peaceful demo? 800,000? They were never. Wait, 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 Protests started. Yeah. Innocent people were killed. Yeah. But how can we confirm who killed them? I assure you that the security made mistakes along the way, and I know that there the are some security personnel killed innocent people. Who and they is held accountable for these you mistakes? Know, I think were they were held anybody, accountable. You know what? You know, should it, we publish trials now? Okay, should we I, take out like records, of course, and say, look, they were killed? Uh, now we have this. Yeah. 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 It's kind of, it's kind of fascinating. It's not legal, you know. It is. You want to see people held accountable for souls? It's illegal to publish ongoing investigations. Oh really? And and the investigation has been going. Let's let's start with the beginning. Let's start with the beginning. Let's start with the beginning. If I may. When Atif Najib, when people in Dara went out, they, they said uh, they wanted Atif Najib out. Who's right? Atif Najib? Uh, the mayor of uh, No, no, Dara. he's not the mayor. He's not the mayor. The he's, uh, like the basic information, so as usual. Name throwing. Was the mayor. Name throwing, wait, wait, but like, I, I like Muad, and uh, unfortunately, like Muad did, for example. I let you finish. With the story, May you let me finish, please? With the story of Zainab al Hasni, he gave a very eloquent, oh, very a very good. eloquent and eulogy, and body was okay. a very eloquent eulogy of her. And where did that body come wait, from? And then, that was a very good question. That was a very good question. And how come? That is a very good question. How come we've got a stamp document however, saying that this is Zainab the first person? You've got a stamp document. I would like to see that document. We've got the document. It was published on air. We can forge anything and put it on air. And what about her family? What about the mother? Where is Zainab the first now, anyway? Who is Zainab the first? 
what's the story yeah, of Zainab al-Husni? Where is she? Emma. Where is her Emma? Emma. Can you tell our people. audience? We need to explain who is Zainab al-Husni. What happened and with Zainab al-Husni? And what did Zainab al-Husni do on television? But well, let's Zainab say, I want to hear from him. Uh, what's the story of Zainab al-Husni? Zainab al-Husni, the brother of Zainab al-Husni was an activist. He's an activist who's... He was a thug. He was a thug. He's not a thug. He was thug. a thug. He was wanted for crimes related an to burglary. Yeah. He was not an, an activist. activist. He was not an activist. activist. He was a thug. Okay. He was a thug. He was a thug. So her brother was a thug. He wasn't an activist for freedom. He was a thug. And what happened? He used to steal uh, uh, bags of ladies and homes. He wasn't an activist. Yeah, he was well, a thug. He was an activist. We know. We have his record. There is no evidence. Why? 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 killed him. We, 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 so we've I seen to, many, I many want pictures. I understand the story. Yes. Zainab al-Husni's brother was killed. You say he's a thug. Muaz says he's an activist. What happened after that? Basically, at some point, and one of the cars that the regime has used, if you're an activist, you're on the run, they will try and use the family as a card if you like to pressure, to, to pressure, pressure the family. Things which are and not what, right. When did the, uh, the government arrest people because they have re uh, relatives well, on the run? Well, they did this. Were your they relatives did, arrested they in Syria? Did this, they, did this, they, they did this. Did this in they did this. They did this in the 80s. What happened? 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 What they're in not a very time good. of crisis. Let's not destroy the country. Let's not destroy the country because fine. we hate Can the security. I, I, I want to hear. We have a chip over our shoulders. We shouldn't destroy the country I because of it. I want to hear the story of Zainab al Hassan. And I want one of you to explain it, and then we can debate it because it has be become facts? very symbolic I, of what's happening I'll, in Syria. I'll, I'll say something. Okay. I think can they will agree let's, with me. Let's try to pin down the story. So her brother was killed. Trust me. Try me. Her brother was killed. Try me. Try me. Have faith. Let me say what can I know. Can we hear his version and then can we, we can debate it? Okay. What's your you version? What. We've seen a footage of a dead body, of a decapitated body, of a female. She seems young, and the footage which was, show, uh, which was shown on YouTube said that she, this is Zainab al-Husni. She was buried in homes. Her mother appeared on the video saying that my daughter was killed. Uh, her brother was arrested at the security forces, she and she was bodies. also arrested, and I, uh, they gave it back to me decapitated. Does this sum up what you would like to say? Well, this but is, but okay. can I can I continue? I'm sorry. So everybody was speaking about Zainab al husni the BBC, Al Jazeera, okay. Al Arabiya. Can I continue, please? So at some it. point, at some point, Zainab al husni appears on Syrian television and she says, "I am Zainab al husni This is my ID card, and I'm alive." In a while, uh, a delegation of reporters vis visits Syria, Romanian delegation, I think, and they meet with Zainab al husni and they talk to her. And the story is different. What's okay, the story from funny? your end? Sorry. What's the story? How, How did this happen? How is the story happen? by his end? Preset, uh, she would like to tell you. No, like to tell. Was, okay. I want to hear it, Emma. Who Emma, I want to hear Fadi's version on this. What do you think happened with the story of Zainab al Hosni? I think Zainab al Hosni, as with many stories in Syria or Egypt or in many in the countries have uh, witnessing revolutions in the Arab world, there were uh, a lot of um, uh, information provided by activists to the media uh, to provide. Uh, um, a reason for action uh, to incite something and many of them were actually right and true and some of them were not and there was an avalanche of such information because the media is, was uh, restricted and not allowed to enter Syria there was over reliance on social media sources and activists and lobbying groups so this led to a, a story of uh, Zainab al-Husni where a woman apparently wasn't the one who was shown as But there was a body that yes. but I'll ask, was killed. There was a woman who was killed. This. She was decapitated. Do you think the facts that I've said are correct? I don't know. Well, I, I, well, I, I, I want I, your version. No, no, I would like to know. Yeah. Do you think the facts I've stated are correct so far? I don't want to get into the fact, into the argument just, about no, 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 your no, no. version the or fact, my version. Not the version. But I want to hear what he has to say about this story. Basically, the brother was in the run and the and the sister got kidnapped. The family received a phone call, and they were trying to sort of negotiate. If you give us the brother, we'll release the, the girl. Okay, but I want to know the symbolism of this story. What does it tell you? Well, it tells me about the tactic the government is using with the activists. It tells us about uh, a story of many families where actually a number of members of the families were killed because of the activism. 
and to tell us about also the fabrication because uh, of the government of, of, of the, the Syrian you government. Know, because he says fabrications, and I think this and is, and I, 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 allow, and this is outrageous. Allow, How can I you say fabrication? Let's talk about you. You, you, you are corruption. Everyone is, but you I want to hear from How can you say fabrication? This is such a strong word to say. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I want to hear from Are there fabrications in the Syrian? Most of it are fabrication. On, on, people, on. people are protesting and demanding their rights. And this is right. But uh, th there are other people who are carrying arms and they are carrying, killing the soldiers and trying to make something like a new Benghazi in Syria. Because they know, the opposition knows that demonstration cannot change anything on ground. Are you telling me you're not with the protest? You don't support the protest movement? I, I, I support the protesters who are demanding their rights. But I'm not, I'm not supporting protesters who, who want to take Syria to the unknown, because this is what they want. They want Syria, the, uh, like Iraq. This is what this is what we don't know. Don't, and don't when want this to. revolution started, what did you think? I it's was happy to. I, I was happy to. Uh, start. You're taking because, sides already. I'm because, sorry. But no, no, I'm sorry. Let's, we can no, no, discuss it, this. It, Let it, me hear Haider's story. No, no, At the no, beginning, I was, I was happy to, to start Syria. I, I was happy to demand our rights, but the opposition change it into something else they, they want the president only the president to leave and they want to take his place and by and to, to do this they they are ready to do anything they are ready to uh, to follow the libyan way of overthrowing al Gaddafi. and this so is, you are afraid You're yeah concerned. of course I'm, I'm i'm so concerned but a sane person only a sane person will be worried worried of about what is happening right now uh I, I would really yes, like to come back. We are all worried. Isn't that a fair statement? Aren't I mean, you worried? I, if, I, if I may no, come I, back. I am 100% not worried. I'm very positive about this future. You promised me that I will get You promised me that I'll get I'm very positive about what I've seen okay. out of my country. Okay. Please go ahead and let me right. talk after you finish. No, we want to hear uh, from Lilwa. Uh, yeah. Finish but uh, this is very interesting also. Let me, let me just say this again. What I, what I find fascinating, and maybe some uh, you know people on the table will not be very happy with this, is that the... what. The Syrian president said in the interview a couple of days ago was a very accurate, with a very accurate description of what happened in Syria. He said there no. were protesters. Uh, there were protesters who came out to ask for their freedom, and this is why we started reforms. Okay, so the president acknowledged that there were actually protesters who were coming out to the street. This is two days ago. Okay, this is something that after nine months. Sir, don't interrupt me, please. Okay. He said, this is he, said he said, he said, reforms. first of all, he said there were protesters who came asking for freedoms, and this is why we started reform. And then, okay, there were militant groups, you know, that basically hijacked, you know, the demand, the legitimate demand of many Syrians for reforms and maybe even for changing the form of the government. Okay, the problem that we're facing right now. The real problem that we're facing right now is that there are hundreds of armed militants in thousands. Syria. Okay, thousands. thousands. If she, if, oh, if she knows, because I because she knows. Okay, you exactly. make fun of this. People are being killed. Thousands. You know, the only way. You're not the only way. No, you're making fun of your government. I just told you that you're making fun of your government. Basically, you're making fun of people's death. Basically, allow, allow me, please. This is about basically, the only way. There's the only way that Muad and Emma can actually argue. No, it's by interruption country, and by sensationalism. Of the because I, I think I was you know talking about the ideas. They know Allah, very well. Please, please allow me. If Something the only way, if the only way that we can have a dialogue is by interruption, then let's just go home no, right you now. Interrupted go ahead, him as well. we're listening. You interrupted you us all okay, the time. Okay, Lulwa, I want to ask please. you. Do you think the protest Maybe movement had been hijacked by the militants? No. You don't think so? No, I think that... There, there is a reaction to every action and I think that you know this protest was you know an honest protest movement it was an honest revolution I think that once all the bloodshed starts but I mean people get emotional and not everybody can uh, handle I don't I haven't lost anyone personally and I'm that but if I do I don't know if I could I might be able to pull out a gun and kill that person who shot my brother or shot my mother or whatever. So, so you understand you know? their motives or do you understand uh, some people's urge to uh, use Yes, I, I completely understand their Do what? you agree with it? Do you want them to do more of these attacks or you prefer if the protest movement stays as peaceful? I would lo love for it to stay peaceful but I don't know if it's going to get anywhere being peaceful. Uh, but do you take part in the protest now? Yeah. I have taken part in the protests in the past. Why did you stop? I was scared. 
actually. Gorilla. Scared of what? Um, scared of, uh, you know, the, the electricity cuts off, you start hearing guns, and it was peaceful, and cars start, people start breaking cars, and it's scary. But you know something, Do you Gorilla? think? Can I, can I want to ask Fadi something. Do you think the number of people who took part in the protest at the beginning, a number of them went back to their homes and are not taking part anymore? I think so. Uh, some people were uh, actually detained and a large number of people were detained and this reduced the numbers, people got scared. But also the uprising moved from a totally peaceful uh, uprising demanding uh, a civil state, uh, rule of law and all the, the demands of the actual demands of the revolution into more militarized, at, la at least in a portion of it, militarized and in some portion of it as well sectarian. And this was a, there was a push and pull effect by the regime and by an extreme uh, part of the opposition towards these goals. And this led to uh, many people uh, not taking part in the, in the demonstrations anymore. But are they supporting it still? Uh, some, most of them, yes, are still supporting it. However, when the militarized version of the, or side of the, of the movement uh, started increasing, many people I've met decided that this revolution doesn't represent me anymore, although the regime doesn't represent me also. So they're caught in between. And this, I think, I blame many in the opposition for. Uh, many in the opposition, an extreme view, uh, view of this, uh, were pushing for uh, either economic sanctions, military intervention, and being very sensational about what's happening in Syria, rather than the, talking to the minds of the people and uh, pushing for the peaceful solution. They justified some of the uh, uh, military, military uh, and violent action. And this led to many people deciding that this is not ours anymore. It was, yes, some of it, some part of it was hijacked. However, the regime is to blame in either way because it, elamed, it enabled this to happen, it enabled this to take place. It pushed towards it, actually, by being brutal. Mu'ad, you are a member of the Syrian National Council. What's the council's position regarding the armed groups, regarding the Free Syrian Army who's carrying attacks against the government? Do you approve of it? Do you want more well, of such a the Free Syrian Army, let's define what is the Free no, Syrian Army. No, let's talk about the Syrian National Council position first. Well, the Free Syrian Army, the Syrian National Council supports the peaceful demonstrations. And, and the this is why it's sending insurgents inside Syria. Yeah. And there for there, is, there is no sending of insurgents. This is a big myth. This is a big myth. I mean, this is this is actually because you know the head of your council. What he said? He said on the 23rd of March. Would you want to allow me to continue talking my point here? This is like four days after the first beginning of the crisis. There were 19 soldiers sent from the city of Dara to the military hospital in Sweden. These are facts, number one. An armed reaction. By the army. An armed reaction. An armed reaction. This is a myth. This is an armed this is reaction myth. is not. The myth is not talking about. An armed reaction does so not mean. We have so many people in Dara who confirmed what happened. An armed reaction. An armed reaction does not mean that you become so quickly, so quickly, well equipped, capable of shooting, capable of, of sniping, firing, actually. of sniping. This is not a reaction. What are you trying to say? I am trying to say it was that, well that there, I have, I have said for those who would like to listen, that there are legitimate and rightful demands that we should all, you know, seek to to reach into a democratic, pluralistic society. But that in the process we should not forget that there are people who are actually trying to hijack uh, to hijack but, that. But okay. And military, no, no, no. military, no, no, no. military, military groups, no, no. military groups, military groups, military groups, people, and I'm sorry, they I'm the only person here maybe who, who served in the army. Military groups do not organize with the same speed. Okay, the you're same... trying to say this is organized. It's not just reaction. It's yes. not a reaction. Okay. Do you but acknowledge the presence of armed groups in Syria? Well, I mean, there is the Free Syrian Army, and the Free Syrian Army actually is a very legitimate entity because no, 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 the Syrian no, no. Army, it's, it's the regime's yeah, army, brotherhood. I, I should be allowed to finish as I'm talking to you. Okay, I want no, you to no, 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 no,
are you not, not allowed? Yes, because I, t- I speak my mind because I love my country. My sin is I love my country and I want to make the best out of it. Who said you cannot come in? Who said that? Why, why am I not allowed to go in? Why do attempted? I receive? Have you tried? Have yes. you why don't I know you come my back? name is on the list and Have I received hundreds and hundreds Home. of messages okay. threatening me of death yes. of death if yes. I dare to go in the plane. Which is wrong, right, by the and way. my name which was whoever, and my name. Emma, whoever Emma, let me ask sending you. you those threats. The president said that any opposition or, or activist outside the country is welcome back. Yeah. Did you try to go and, back? And the president said we're not killing our own people. The president said not, a lot of a lot of things. Which were, not not, no, which were soldiers. not true. The president what are you afraid of? If you go back, what they will happen kill to you? me. Oh, what will they come happen? On. Lula, come on. I have to come say on. something. I'm sorry. Mm. You know, this is like. Lula, I have to say one, one simple thing. Okay, but Lula yes. said something which was very interesting to me. She said she went out on focus. And I think this shows that Syria has changed. If she's willing to say on satellite television, on international television. And this is how uh, the revolution can I say is winning. I Actually, the revolution is no, winning because there's no fear. Let me say. Let me speak. No, no, you have to let me say. You're orchestrated against me. You should let me Speak. Okay, now Lula, you have, I, I, should, I should be allowed to, to speak. We, you Am I allowed will be to speak? Allowed to will speak? you allow me to speak? We'll pick up on all these issues. No, no, I beg them when to allow me to speak. Please we'll go for a break and we'll be back.